back in the 1920s and the 1930s, if you wanted to find out you were pregnant, you, someone had to kill a rabbit. Here's how it worked. Doctors would inject a woman's urine into a female rabbit's ovaries. And if the woman was pregnant, the pregnancy hormone HCG would trigger visible changes in the rabbit's ovaries within about 48 hours. But here's the kicker. To check the ovaries, they had to dissect the rabbit. It's really sad. The test was considered a scientific breakthrough at the time when introduced by scientists in 1927. Before this pregnancy diagnosis was just total guesswork and superstition. Despite the myth, the rabbit actually always died, whether the test was positive or not. In fact, the, the term, the rabbit died, became a euphemism for I'm pregnant. You'd be like, well, how are you, Cindy? You'd be like, well, the rabbit died, and that would be like, I'm pregnant now. Even if most people didn't know literally that was actually true, rabbits were dying to prove pregnancies. Eventually, similar tests using frogs and mice replaced rabbit. Labs developed them into modern non-lethal pregnancy tests, and today, anyone can do it in their bathroom within two minutes, but for decades, pregnancy meant a death sentence for rabbits.